Hi, this tutorials are for VHDL programming, the complete course of VHDL programming. By seeing these tutorials, you can learn how to make the projects and how to write your own programming language on your own. In this, it is a VHDL course. I am going to tell you in my tutorials a complete list I have. As you can see, I will be telling about your software, and these are the list, and we'll make some projects on VHDL, and we will teach how to make these projects. And one of the important thing, you can watch my tutorial, these videos in more in not only in English language, I, but also in Hindi, Telugu, and Bengali languages. These three languages are also included as you can see here the same video will be continuing but the language will be different so let's get started oh i am opening my virtual computer this is nothing but my virtual computer as you can see this is my <coughs> windows 7 and i am running a virtual computer here so there is no much difference about windows 7 and this windows xp both are same you can also use same programming in windows 10 also and also windows 8 or lower versions also so don't not wasting my time and your time let's get started just open xilinx just i will be telling you about what xilinx can do for you and what are the facilities that are available in the Xilinx? Xilinx is a wonderful software which for designing the tools, ICs, and the graphical and schematic representation. Just open the Xilinx. Just click on OK. Just open the file, new project. <coughs> A window will be pop up just you give your location since I am doing in my virtual computer I have one folder called with my name and with a folder Xilinx I have already name of the project here I am giving it as a demo nothing but demo then click on next here is the list of variables which are you, you are going to use these are by for the beginners it is not much important to know about these all things but for the professionals they can have a look on it this is nothing but an evaluation board if you have a fpga board then what type of board you have just select that board since i have no board i am not specifying it if you have a product category of that category if you select one board since see i am selected this the category is already predefined if you do not have just category general purpose or it is automotive or anything similar fashion you have this values next synthesis tool is nothing but we have two tools we have two languages here vhdl and verilog two two can be synthesized by using this xilinx Simulator we have iSIM. iSIM this simulator is used for only this simulator is used for only getting the results. What the results it might be. Then the preferred language you can select a VHDL since it is the VHDL tutorials and I will be telling Verilog tutorials also in my another YouTube channel soon i will be creating that also you can change it to vhdl or you can leave it default for wigness and just click on next here the project description is made, created about your project the name of the project you have given as a demo and the path where it is saving working directory and we have not given any description so no description is present so similar fashion everything is present in this tab then click on finish 
I will be telling you slow by slow in each step very clearly in my tutorials. So here we got a folder called demo. I will show you. See. In C drive I have Manohar folder where Xilinx is present where I have created one demo. These are the default folders which will be created by Xilinx. Nothing but when we double click on it the Xilinx will be opened automatically. So this is the window. This is what we have created right now. So let us take add new source. So we have these many things we can do in Xilinx. First one schematic. It is also it is nothing but a logical representation of our product. If we have a logical diagram then go for schematic. If we have a very user document, document then go for user document. These are the different styles we have. So, we are, since we are doing VHDL model, just select this VHDL model and then give the VH model name. Just I am giving as a logic gate. Logic gate, then click next. For logical gates, we have A, B, and C. A and B are inputs, and C is output. Just click next. next we got here the logical gate entity, architecture, and begin and end. So this is the basic use, how we can use the Xilinx software. This is about the software. Thank you for watching tutorial. For more tutorials, just subscribe me below. And if you like it, just press a like. And if you have any comments, don't forget to comment below. Thank you.